So today I'm talking about a P0308 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0308 code? Well, it's a cylinder eight misfire detected. And what does this mean? Well, basically every cylinder inside of the engine needs to have the correct air fuel ratio mixture going into it. And then at the right time, the spark plug is gonna send out a spark that's gonna ignite this mixture, which is gonna create a small explosion, which is gonna send the piston down, which is gonna turn the crank and it's gonna keep the whole engine running. But when you get a misfire, something's gone wrong with this. This small explosion's not happening, or it's happening sometimes and not other times. But basically, something's causing an issue with this, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And a P0308 code is going to point to the number eight cylinder. If you were to get a P0301, that'd be the number one cylinder. A P0302, that'd be the number two cylinder, and so on and so on. And one thing to note about misfire codes is that if you're only getting a misfire code for one cylinder, so if you're only getting this P0308 code, then very likely a component just failed on cylinder number eight. So this would be something like a bad injector or a bad coil or something like that that's specific to cylinder number eight. But if you're getting multiple other misfire codes, so for example, you're getting like a P0300, P0301, a P0302 or something like that, then that's going to point to something that would affect the whole engine. And so this would be something like a bad fuel pump, a bad sensor, a vacuum leak, or something like that. So if you are getting multiple misfire codes, keep in mind that's going to be something that affects the whole engine, and that would be something different than just a P0308 code. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0308 code? Well, it could be a bad spark plug or a bad spark plug wire going to the spark plug. It could be a bad coil. That coil might have failed on cylinder number eight. It can also be a bad fuel injector on cylinder number eight. And if you have an older vehicle that has a distributor cap, then it could be a bad distributor cap. And it's also possible that there's some kind of mechanical problem, something like a bad valve on cylinder number eight, or a head gasket that's leaking or something like that. Although that's not too common. Usually when you have a P0308 code, there's some kind of issue going on with the spark or the gas going to cylinder number eight. But keep in mind that a mechanical problem can also cause this issue. And so how would you go about troubleshooting a P0308 code? Well, the first thing to do is to find out which cylinder on your engine is the number eight cylinder. And there is differences. It's going to depend on the engine, the year, different things like this. So if you go use Google Images and you type in your engine and like firing order or cylinder location, you should be able to find a diagram that's going to pop up and tell you which cylinder is number eight. But the first thing to do is to find the number eight cylinder on your engine. The next thing to do is to check out any spark plug wires going to cylinder number eight and the coil that's sending the spark to the spark plug. And there is different types of coils depending on the engine, the year, and things like this. There can be different types of coils, but they all do the same thing. They're just sending high voltage to the spark plug so that it can send out that spark when it's needed. And there's some different ways to go about testing these coils. If you have a coil on every cylinder like this, then you could swap it with like cylinder number seven and see if the problem follows. So if you swap them out and then you got a P0307 code, then you know it's that coil and you'd be able to replace it. One quick way of going about testing to see if you are getting spark on cylinder number eight is you use one of these inline spark tester tools. And these are real low cost, usually less than like $10, $15. I'll put a link down below if you need one. But basically one side goes on the spark plug and then the other side goes to the coil. And then you start up the engine and you should see a spark inside of here. And if you don't see no spark inside of here, then you know there's a problem with the spark. Like you got a bad coil or something like that. But if you do see a spark inside of here, then you know it's good. And you can move on to like testing the injector and, and things like this. But like I said, there's some different ways you go about checking for spark. But the first thing to do is be sure that you're getting spark going to cylinder number eight. If you are getting spark to cylinder number eight, then the next thing to go and check is going to be the fuel injector. Again, there's some different ways to go about testing these injectors. Sometimes they're easy to get to, so you can swap it with another cylinder and see if the problem follows. If they are hard to get to, you can also check in with the multimeter. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about testing these with the multimeter and checking to see if they've gone bad or not. But the next thing to go and check is going to be the fuel injector on cylinder number eight. And one thing to keep in mind with these fuel injectors is that if there's anything wrong with this wiring going to the fuel injector, like an open, a short, it's got a bad connection or something like this, then that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad injector. But the next thing to go and check is going to be the fuel injector. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0308 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.